Hello, my name is Jim Berthold, a solution engineer with Flexera in the supplier division. In this video, I'll be covering the setup required in FlexNet operations for use with the license activation examples provided in the FlexNet Embedded XT licensing toolkits. This video is intended for customers who are evaluating Flexera's FlexNet Embedded license technology in conjunction with the FlexNet Operations software monetization platform. The goal is to provide the necessary steps to quickly get several of the samples provided in the toolkit up and running. Use cases for both online and offline activation of FlexNet embedded licenses will be covered. For prerequisites, it is assumed that you have been provided with system administrator access to a FlexNet Operations Cloud evaluation site that has been properly configured for licensing and that you have already downloaded the appropriate FlexNet Embedded XT toolkit for your development environment from the Flexera Product and License Center. If you have any questions, please contact your Flexera account manager. To set the stage, let's take a look at a typical software purchase and activation process at a high level. First, the customer purchases a licensed product from the software provider, which in this case is the Acme Corporation. Acme will then create an entitlement for the customer in FlexNet operations. In a production environment, this is typically accomplished programmatically via back office integration. However, we'll be entering in the information manually in the administrative web portal. The customer is then notified of their purchase via an email, which contains an activation ID that will be used to obtain a license to enable the product features based on their purchase. Here is an example of what the customer order notification email from FlexNet Operations could look like. It can contain such information as the order number, product names, license terms, quantities, and the license activation ID. Email templates are configurable for both branding and content. The software can be downloaded by the customer via the FlexNet Operations customer portal or provided to the customer by another means. Electronic software delivery configuration will not be covered in this video. Once the customer has installed the software that has been instrumented with FlexNet Embedded APIs, they are then typically prompted to enter their activation ID. This activation ID, along with additional device information, will be programmatically sent to FlexNet Operations, which will return one or more licensed features that are securely stored on the device. Once stored, the application can then acquire the license features and provide the necessary functionality. If the target device is offline, a license request file containing the activation ID and system information can be generated from the device and uploaded to the FlexNet Operations customer portal by the customer on a system which has internet access. A license response can then be downloaded from the portal and loaded onto the offline device. The licensing handshake between a device instrumented with FlexNet embedded APIs and either FlexNet operations or a licensed server is accomplished with capability requests and responses. Capability requests are sent from a device and capability responses are returned to a device. The capability request example provided in the FlexNet Embedded Toolkits can be used to obtain licenses from FlexNet Operations or from a FlexNet Embedded Cloud or Local License Server. As shown in the previous flow diagram, when performing a capability request and response exchange with FlexNet Operations, the capability request contains an activation ID. FlexNet Operations returns one or more licensed features for the licensed product being activated based on that activation ID. Additionally, licenses can be requested from a licensed server. FlexNet embedded license servers contain a pool of license features that can be accessed by multiple devices. When performing a capability request and response exchange with a FlexNet embedded cloud or local license server, the capability request contains the desired licensed features as opposed to an activation ID. The license server will return the features to the device if it exists and the requested quantity is available. The use of license servers will not be covered in this video. 
Let's now take a look at what needs to be configured in FlexNet operations in order to run some of the examples in the FlexNet Embedded Toolkits. First, we need to create a product. The primary attributes of a product are license features and a license model. By default, the capability request example is looking for a license feature called Survey version 1.0. So we'll start by creating this license feature. A product can have many license features, however, we'll limit it to one in this simple use case. Next, we'll create a license model for use with our product. There are many different types of license models, such as trial, permanent, subscription, and usage-based. We'll create a one-year subscription model to start. We'll then create a product using the newly created license feature and license model. We now need to entitle a customer account to the product. First, we'll create a customer account and add a user to the account. The last step will be to create an entitlement for the new customer account for the new product. FlexNet Operations will create a unique activation ID for the entitlement line, which will be used to obtain licenses. I will now log into the producer portal and follow these steps. The first step is to create a license feature. Select Features under the Products menu followed by Add New Feature. Enter Survey in lowercase as the feature name and 1.0 as the feature version. Scroll down and select Save. In the second step, we will create a one-year subscription license model. In the Administer menu, select License Models under License Setup. Click on the magnifying glass in the far right to search the default license models. Let's make a copy of the Embedded Counted model by selecting Embedded Counted followed by Copy. Let's name this license model One Year Subscription and under Expiration, select Expiring and set it to One Year. By default, entitlements for products using this license model will expire in one year. Note, however, that if desired, this date can be overridden when creating the entitlement. Let's keep the other default settings and select Save. Select License Models again from the Administer menu. The new license model is initially created in a draft state and must be set to a deployed state in order to use this model in a product. To deploy, select the license model followed by Change State to Deploy. The third step is to create a product using the new feature and license model. Select Products under the Products menu followed by Add New Product. Give the product a name and a version. I'll call it Example Product Version 2020. Next, set Can Be Used on a Device to Yes, and leave the remaining attributes at their default values. Next, let's add the license feature to the product. Scroll down, select Add Features, search for Survey, Select Survey and Add, followed by Add. Select Next to get to the next screen where we will add the license model. Select Link License Models. Select the one-year subscription model. Add it and select Add. Now select Save to save the product. Go back to the Products main menu by selecting Products under the Products menu. The product we just created is initially in a draft state. In order to entitle a customer to this product, it must be in a deployed state. To do this, select the example product followed by Change State to Deploy.
Select Deploy on the bottom of the page to deploy the product along with any features that have yet to be deployed. We have now created the product. The next steps are to create a customer account with a user and then entitle that customer account to the product. From the main menu under Accounts and Users, select Create Account. Required fields are an account ID and an account name. The account ID is typically the identifier for the customer in a back office CRM system. In this case, we will use Acme Customer for both the ID and name. To add a user to this account, select Create a User. Required fields are first name, last name, and email address. Customers can log in to the FlexNet Operations customer-facing portal using their email address as their login ID. If you are adding yourself to the Acme customer account, you will want to make sure you use a different email address than what you use to log in to the producer portal. Now select a role for the user. I will give this user a portal admin role. Click Save when done. In a production environment, this action will automatically trigger a welcome email to the end customer with instructions on how to log into the customer portal. In user acceptance test environments, by default, all emails are suppressed with the exception of password reset emails. Select Reset Password to send this email to the user. The user can then follow the steps to log in with a temporary password and create their initial password. The final step is to entitle the new customer to the new product. From the main menu, select Create under the Entitlements tab. For the Entitlement ID, you can have FlexNet Operations auto-generate an ID or you can specify your own. I'll select Specify and give it an ID. Next, select Add to add the customer account to the entitlement. Search or select Acme Customer, followed by Next. Here you can select the default user on the account for the entitlement email notification. Select the user, followed by Save. Now select New Line Item to create an entitlement line item. Select the Example Product followed by Next. The one-year subscription license model should be displayed. Note that a product can have more than one associated license model, and if so, you would need to specify which license model is to be used in the entitlement. Select Next to continue. Now specify the quantity of licenses for the entitlement. I'll set it to 5, which means the activation ID that will be created can be used to license 5 different devices. The default expiration is 1 year from the start date of the entitlement as specified in the license model. The start and expiration dates can be changed here if desired. I will leave them as is and select Save. The entitlement line item has now been created with a system-generated activation ID. If you choose to specify your own unique activation ID, you can overwrite the default value. I will use the system-generated ID. The entitlement line item is initially created in a draft state and will need to be put in a deployed state in order to allow license activation. Select Save and Deploy to deploy the entitlement line item. Now that the entitlement line item is deployed, the activation ID can be used to activate licenses using the FlexNet embedded SDK examples. This activation ID can be emailed to the customer for license activation. Configuration of the notification email template will not be covered in this video. This concludes the FlexNet operations configuration. The recommended next step 
is to watch the videos which run through the FlexNet Embedded SDK examples for your development environment. Thank you.